Hello and welcome to This Week at West. I'm Greg Johnson. I'm your athletic director. Our special co-host today is Miss Emmy Rollins. Emmy, thanks for joining us. Thank you so much for having me. So, before we get into Last Week at West, it's my favorite time of year. It's Christmas time. Yeah. Christmas music's on heavy rotation, but the music's a small part of it. To me, it's Christmas movies. So give me right now your top three Christmas movies. Go. Okay, The Grinch. Which one? The I haven't seen the new one. So. The original or the Jim Carrey? Like the cartoon one? Jim Carrey. Okay, Jim Carrey. Okay. I mean, that's that's, that's yeah. three. What's your two? It used to scare me, but now I like it. Okay. Um, I like any like a lifetime movie. I think they're cute they're, and um. They always kiss at the 58. Minute. Yeah, you yeah. can predict what happens sure. before it ends, sure. and then. Number one. I don't. I don't know. I don't. All I do is watch the Lifetime. I'll give you my top three in order. Number three is National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. It's fantastic. Oh, yeah. My dad number likes. two is Home Alone, the original. It's a classic. Oh, those are good ones. They're I great. And number those. one is Die Hard. Arthur's nodding his head back there because I'm right on all three accounts. Like, that's that's not a debate. Like, I just told well, you. Well, I'm just straight. so nervous that I forgot the name. Don't be nervous. Movie. Tell you what, now that we know about Christmas time and we got the spirit, tell us what happened last week at West in basketball. Okay, so. With basketball last yep. week, the girls put out a win against Crestwood, 52 to 42. First one of the year. Congratulations, girls. Yeah, and I'd like to shout out my girl, Anna Leah. It's her birthday today, and I'm glad that y'all got a win. And then for boys, they also won against Crestwood, 56 to 40, which is a great win, and I hope there's more to come. You can't spell West without W, so we'll take two on one night. That's a two for Tuesday. Uh, also, last week at West, um, before we get to the awards night, I want to mention the team that beat us out in the football playoffs, Dutch Fork University. Uh, they beat us 59-14. to 14. They actually beat T.O. Hanna 59-20 to 20 in the state championship. So congrats to them. They'll finish in the top 10 in the nation this year, 15-0. So congrats to you guys. Uh, this week also, our, uh, our boys Michael Hayes and Alem Ford at the Shrine Bowl this week. They were both named in their respective fields. Alem was the uh, back of the year and uh, for the South Carolina Coaches Association and Michael was the special teams player of the year so they had already been named the lower state backs and, and special teams player of the year but now they're for the whole state no we did yeah no so we congrats did. to them the real reason that we're here and the real reason that you're here is we had awards night last week for our fall sports how was it what was your impression of the awards night I thought it was very nice and it was very well planned and I liked how we did it in the gym because it showed off our new floor right, that's, that's well put so I'll let you talk about volleyball, but in a sec but before that, I'm going to talk about some girls' golf awards. Okay. Girls' golf had a fantastic season. They played for the lower. They competed in the lower state championship. Coach Wegman, Coach Dale, Coach Felton. Congrats on a great season. Their awards winners, the girls' golf coaches award went to Miss Julia Klein. So congrats to her. And the girls' golf MVP was Miss Chelsea Lee. Chelsea was also the team's academic award winner. So congrats to coaches and athletes on a great season. Let's. Emmy, let's talk about volleyball. So this season was a very fun season. I had a great opportunity to learn. I have a lot of relationships with a lot of the girls, and unfortunately we're losing three seniors, which is really sad, but I'm really proud of them for everything they've accomplished, sure. and they contributed a lot to the team. Um, we had a pretty good season. We, at the end, came out stronger than we did at the beginning, and we learned a lot, and thank you to our coach who always Helped us through that and shout out Coach Coker. Yeah, made us the sure. best we can be. You know, too, it was a it was a year that wasn't free of controversy for you guys. You had would you lose nine players from last year's team? So we had I think we started five out of the six starters were sophomores this year. So um, to finish with the record we did at five hundred was a was it impressive? We've laid a good foundation. I'll talk some JV award winners. Okay. Um, it's Jessica Summerford was your coach's award winner, and uh, your JV volleyball MVP Miss Riley Yersich. Great yeah, season by uh, the JV it. Knights. Now let's talk varsity awards. I'll talk. I'll tell you what. You tell us who won the uh, who won the coaches award. Go ahead, coaches award. Analia Cook. Birthday girl. Yeah. How about the rookie of the year? Um, Lauren Gordon, which she deserved it. So shout out to my girl Lauren. What was the match? She, she had like nine points in a row. When, like she was serving and it was just like. I have no clue, but she, she really killed it. I feel like. Yeah. Literally. Uh, your defensive MVP, Ms. McKenzie Tyner, well deserved. Coach Coker was reading stats out of the night at awards night, and it was like Mackenzie Tyner had 817,000 defensive digs or something like that. It was, it, was, yeah. it was a lot. But let's talk about you for a second because you won some awards the other night too. Yes. All right, so you won all region, mm -hmm. right? You won uh, the academic award, which is the most impressive. Yeah. Your GPA is 18.1. And the other thing you won, you won the night award for the volleyball, so top honors all over yeah, the Yeah, I was very excited and. How do you shocked. find time for all of them? 
the st between the studying and the volleyball and the, the jumping and whatnot? How do you how do you do it all? You just gotta balance it out and put school first, and then volleyball comes. Second. All right. So like if we're ranking things, it's like school, volleyball, lifetime movies. Yeah, basically. Cool. cool. Well, that's volleyball. Let's go to the. So that was volleyball, and now let's jump into the swim awards. Okay, Mr. wait, wait, no. wait. You forgot someone. But I forget. Mackenzie Tyner also made all region. Shout out to Mackenzie. How could you all forget that? All region six five eight. Thanks for the thanks for the catch. That's a good no cover. As far as swim, our swimmers competed. We had several individuals compete in the state championship. Also, uh, shout out to Miss Chatlaw. She had a great season. They didn't get a chance to swim in the region because of the hurricane. They got they got canceled and rescheduled. Canceled and rescheduled. Blah blah blah. Anyway, they had a great season. Our swim rookie of the year, Miss Sarah Howard. Our swim most improved, Sarah Beth Bailey. Uh, she's a seventh grader. Just neat. Had a great season. Uh, our swim wow. for the girls MVP, Miss Caroline Howard, who committed to Winget. Okay, we get to go swim, so exciting for her. Um, swim most improved for the boys, Mr. Hay Chapman, and swim MVP, Mr. Jackson Foles. Jackson also took home the academic award for the swim team. The girls academic award with Ms. Faith Fields. So congrats, swim team, on a great season. So let's talk tennis. Tennis also had a great season. They made it to the second round of the playoffs. Uh, they lost to Somerville in a third set tiebreaker at like every every match on the court. So that was a bummer, but. A great season nonetheless. Congrats to Coach Sullivan and the girls. They're losing three seniors this year also, but they had a great year. As far as tennis awards, the Tennis Coaches Award went to Miss Emily King, who went 18-1 and one on the year. Pretty, pretty that impressive. That is so good. The one match that she lost, she lost. She had to play up because the stomach bug hit pretty hard in Sakisti. Oh, yeah. I heard about that. It was, it was, that. It was, it was gross. But Ew. Emily, great season. Congratulations. Uh, the tennis MVP, as well as an all-region. Uh, finalist or an all-region award recipient, Miss Kate Sansbury, a freshman. So that's pretty cool to have a freshman be your MVP. Yeah. Uh, also, Miss Reagan Dunham, who's been playing tennis here for six whole years. Uh, she's a, a senior this time. year. She won the academic award. She also uh, won all-region. So congrats to the tennis team. Let's talk girls cross country, where the objective is to run fast. Yeah. Girls cross country, the Prefontaine Award. Prefontaine, obviously a reference to Steve Prefontaine, the best distance runner of all time. He's also in the Mustache Hall of Fame. Uh, the Prefontaine Award winner for the girls, Miss Lala Dixon. Lala also won the Girls Cross Country Academic Award for the highest GPA. And your Girls Cross Country MVP, Miss Mary Tyndall Parr. I mean, do, you, do you know her? I didn't know. She runs really fast. Very fast. So does Lala. I mean, it's way faster than I want to run. Me too. As far as the boys, your Boys Cross Country Prefontaine Award winner, as well as your Academic Award winner for Boys Cross Country, Mr. Connor Bailey. And uh, your Cross Country MVP, Mr. Patrick Morgan, in the shock of the year. That was sarcasm because he ran three miles in less than 17 minutes. So that is crazy. That's really, really fast. He had a great season, great. finished uh, here after the state championship, had a great year. And the uh, all region award winners for cross country, I'm looking Patrick Morgan and Mr. Pearson Mixon, uh, all region finisher. So they finished in the top 10 in the region. Let's talk football. JV football award winners. Uh, Mr. David Lee won the captain's award, and Mr. Kendrick Hanna won the other captain's award. So football is a different sport. They don't do MVP. Coach, that's not Coach Generat's style. He doesn't do like offensive MVP, defensive MVP. He just has captain's awards for guys that have kind of made an impact on the team. So congrats to those two JV players. All right, let's talk varsity football award winners. I mean, this is kind of a lot because it's you know when you have a good season, you win 11 football games, you're gonna have a lot of award winners. That's okay. So let's talk football captains awards winners. You ready for the list? Yes, I'm ready. Miami Simmon, Cooper Wallace, Michael Hayes, Alim Ford, Malik Samuel, Ross McMillan, Paul Economy, Alim, and then there was some region awards that were given. These were voted on by the region coaches. So that was cool. So you're, they couldn't decide who was the better offensive player this year, so they actually split the award. Cooper got half of it and Alim got half of it. So that's pretty cool. That's that's, really cool. that's, that's that was very good. Pretty players. big deal. Pretty yeah. big deal. Uh, there was no splitting this award. Michael Hayes was the special teams player of the year. I believe he was 64 out of 65 on extra points. 65 touchdowns. Like, holy smokes. Yeah, that is. Uh, that's a lot. He also had a 94 percent percentage of uh, percentage of kick touchbacks on kickoffs. So, well, that's good. Uh, also, I'm not sure if you heard or not, Coach Jenneret was the Region Six Five A Coach of the Year. No one more deserving than him. Who, who doesn't love Coach Jenneret? I don't know. Sure. I mean, obviously not you, because you're, you're a fan, right? Yeah. I'm a fan, sure. yeah. He's my way agent coach, so. Teacher. 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 Yeah. All right, let's talk about all region selections. So the following football players made all region. Alim Ford, Cooper Wallace, Michael Hayes, Dylan Snyder, Braxton Taylor, Malik Samuel, Ross McMillan. Uh, Ross also made the WPDE all 
Hall's own team. So congrats to Ross on that. Kevin Will, Kevin Wells, Miami, George Floyd, Samaj Johnson, Nike Johnson, and Greg Jones. Uh, our football academic award winner, Mr. Hale Emerson. So uh, fall athletes, just a tremendous job. Uh, at, the, at the banquet I spoke about, uh, what I'm most proud of in the fall athletics is our uh, our teams have more than 700 volunteer hours of community service. That's, That's pretty cool, right? Very good. So you, so you did some of that too, didn't you? Didn't you go read like every Friday to the uh, yeah, elementary school? Yeah, I did. That was, I look forward to that every week. I'm glad we decided to do that. The kids look forward to it too, right? Mm -hmm. They're all high five and they kind of jump out of the car when you open it up and that kind of stuff. So. Some of them. <laughs> is it you or is it? Just some kidding. Just kidding. It. All right, so let's, uh, That all that stuff's great. I could, or, uh, the community service is great. The wins are great. Let's talk okay. academics. Talk, talk to us about how we finished the academic year for fall sports. Every team had a 3.0 average or above for their GPA. Say it again. Every team had a 3.0 average or higher for their GPA. Every single team, every fall sports team had a 3.0 GPA average. That is absolutely incredible. And shout out to the tennis team because they had a 4.0 average. So that's what makes West special, right? Very true. That was last week at West. Now this week at West, we got a busy week. Tonight is Monday. we got JV basketball versus Lakewood right here in the castle. Girls start at 6, boys start at 7.30. Tomorrow, varsity. Varsity only travels to Lakewood. Girls start at 6, boys start at 7.30. Wednesday, absolutely nothing. Thursday, we're playing here versus Lakewood. Varsity only. Girls at 6, boys at 7.30. And then Friday, we're taking a trip to the north side of town. We're taking on Wilson. You going? I think so. Why not? Uh, all four teams are going to play at Wilson uh, on Friday. We're going to start at 4.30. We've got JV girls, JV boys, varsity girls, varsity boys. It's going to be a late night. you got nothing else to do. It's Friday night. It's freezing. Come inside and watch some basketball. It's going to be a basketball. good game. So. looking forward to seeing some of our students show up to some of our games. Like yeah. The student section will be cool. Yeah, that's really cool. Hint, hint, Night Nation, come to the basketball games. So that's something that's best. Amy, do you know how we end the show? Mm -hmm. Thanks for watching. It's always nice to have a fan. We do a big thumbs up.